Last month at the COP29 climate summit, an executive at BYD let out a little secret, but that drop of information is now starting to leak out fast about BYD's next generation blade battery. And the reports are impressive, as you'll see. Let's start with some background. BYD rolled out its first generation blade battery in 2020, made by its internal parts supplier, FinDreams. It was then and is still now an industry leading product used by entry level EVs like BYD Seagull, all the way up to its hyper premium Yongwang vehicles. There are three common battery formats pouch, cylindrical, and prismatic. The general trend in automotive has been a shift away from pouch batteries to prismatic and cylindrical cells getting fatter to 46 millimeters. The BYD Blade battery is a prismatic format, but it's a very unique, long and thin version of it. It should be considered its own unique format that BYD has pioneered. The blade chemistry is lithium iron phosphate, LFP, less expensive and less prone to thermal events than nickel cobalt chemistry. NMC batteries are more energy dense and preferred by automakers outside of China but that is slowly starting to change in part because of BYD. They've proven that LFP is good enough even for premium battery electrics. Now I should point out that BYD was using pouch style LFP batteries for its entry level plug-in hybrids up until about a year ago when they started transitioning them to a short blade battery for reportedly better durability. This is another automotive battery design trend, offering different lineups of batteries for plug-in hybrids and e-revs with a gas range extender engine. The cycle life of batteries in those vehicles are different than for full battery electric, so they developed a lineup of batteries specific for that use case. CATL recently launched its Freevoy Super Hybrid battery for that application. So what's the big news on BYD? According to Car News China, BYD's Blade 2.0 battery is coming fast. Everything in China moves fast. They will launch in the first half of 2025, just a few months from now. And it should surprise no one that they'll be less expensive. BYD is targeting a 15% price reduction from a battery that is already kicking everyone's ass. Yikes. But wait, there's more. There will be two size formats, a long blade and a short blade, kind of like today. The short blade will offer an energy density at the cell of about 160 watt hours per kilogram. That's a little better than the current long battery, but the discharge rate is 16 C and a charge rate of eight C. That's crazy fast. At 8C, you could conceivably recharge the battery in seven and a half minutes. Now, it's not clear if the Gen 2 short blade batteries will be used for PHEVs and other applications where a little sacrifice in energy density is valued to get fast charge and discharge rates. The new long blade battery gets a massive increase in energy density at the cell level, up to 210 watt hours per kilogram. And it needs to because BYD FinDreams competes with CATL, and last year they announced their Shenzhen Plus LFP battery. If the reports from Car News China are correct, BYD's new long blade battery will have a slightly better energy density, but not charge quite as fast. Both of these new batteries are now as energy dense from a mass perspective as many NMC batteries today, and they're a whole lot less expensive than that chemistry. Now, to be fair, uh, to be fair, to be fair, well, to be fair, I should point out that reports like this have come out before and have proven to be incorrect. But if this is true, I would expect some kind of technology day to announce these new batteries. And when they do, I'll be sure to geek out and share that with you. Oh, and you can follow my ramblings on threads and blue sky too, and on TikTok, unless they pull the plug on that.